Arise, O compatriot, Nigeria's call obey. Enough is enough. Enough of the police brutality. Enough of the police killing. Enough of the police harassment. We, the youth of Africa, are saying that enough is enough. And SAS now. What is happening in Nigeria is so sad. And some of you might say that I'm not from Nigeria and I can't talk about Nigeria's problem. We have 54 African countries, but we are all under one umbrella as one Africa. So a Nigerian problem is my problem. What is SAS? SAS is a special anti-robbery squad in Nigeria that is harassing, killing, and then beating of what? The youth of Nigeria. I have been a victim because I was in Nigeria last year. The first day that I got to Nigeria, I got harassed by this same SAS. You know why? Because I had a laptop on my lap. Because I was using an iPhone. And these people felt like this guy has no right to own a MacBook and an iPhone. So we need to what? Arrest him. I asked these officers, what have I done? They're like, where do you get the money to buy this phone and then this MacBook? All of a sudden, they started tagging me as a Yahoo boy. If you don't know who a Yahoo boy is, a Yahoo boy is an internet froster. They're like, you are one of them. They searched through my phone. I mean, did all they could. At the end of the day, they found out that I'm not the guy that they think that I am. They told me to go. I spoke about this experience on YouTube and I got so many attacks from Nigerians themselves telling me that as a Ghanaian, you always want to make Nigeria look bad. I think you guys should call me a prophet because what happened to me a year ago is now escalating. We need to stand for our rights as the youth of Africa. Let's speak against about things that are hindering the growth of this continent. You can't tell me that I'm a Ghanaian so I cannot speak about something that affected me in Nigeria. You can't tell me that I'm a Ghanaian so I can't speak about something that happened to me in South Africa. You cannot tell me that I'm a Ghanaian so I can't speak about something that happened to me in Zambia. If you go to South Africa, they don't even want to hear my name anymore. If you go to Zambia, the same thing, because I spoke about something that is wrong in the country. Let's speak against these things. It's time to end SARS now. They are beating innocent people. I was a victim, so I know the number of people who are innocent and going through this police brutality in Nigeria. I'm not the only one that has been affected. Your brother might visit Nigeria tomorrow and same SAS can harass and if not fortunate, they're going to kill because that's what they are doing right now. Even a peaceful protest that is going on in Nigeria right now, they're still shooting an innocent youth of Nigeria. Let's all not keep quiet about this. Don't just say that, oh, I'm not a Nigerian, it's happening in Nigeria, so I don't care. A Nigerian problem should be your problem because we are all under one umbrella called Africa. It's time to end SARS now. I'm speaking straight from the heart. Whether you like it or not, you have to share this video. In the comment section, don't say anything. Hashtag and SAS now. We must add our voices to whatever is going on in Nigeria. We need change.
We need solution. I I'm so happy to see young Nigerians on the street of Lagos, Abuja, Port Harcourt protesting for their rights. This is what we should be doing all this while. This is what every young African out there should come up and say that enough is enough. I wish after this whole protest, we will start another revolution against the corruption in Africa. It's time to end SARS. Hashtag end SARS now. Thank you so much for watching and thank you so much for sharing. Peace out.